It's on YouTube. Another uh, uh, crafting video. I know what's up. Craziness, huh? But um, this time it's the exotics edition. So it's going to be um, mostly some Ferraris and Porsches that I've had for a while and haven't cracked open. So still organizing the closet and whatnot to get some space. Seems like things keep shrinking around me. <laughs> Anyways, let's start with this one. Um, one of my favorite castings, McLaren P1. That is pretty awesome casting. It's fun to customize. I don't know if you've seen the white and red one that I've done. Um, I think this came out awesome. So, this one is the one that's kind of a burnt orange color so Let's see if we can get this thing to cooperate today without it rolling off it's kind of crooked yep. hold on okay let's try this again <laughs> there is the uh, McLaren P1 in burnt orange uh, not the other one in silver But yeah, like I was saying, this is one of my favorite castings. Come on now, cooperate with me. Really like it. I want to get a few more to uh, customize. That would be pretty awesome. But um, next we got the Jaguar XJ40. Showing this in a video a while back. Um, what I found at the pawn shop, I've been wanting to crack this one open. Kind of look at it a little closer. So, this is just a nice casting. Hobbles did a cool job. They should do more of these. I mean, detail. I think when I showed this before, um, Count five was saying it was like a corgi. Something to do with that. I can't remember exactly. And it says hot was on the bottom, but I mean the base even looks different than what you'd expect. But yeah, it's got detail on the back, even a license plate. Hot was tamp on the window. Man, if I had a couple of those, they'd be getting customized. But that one, I'm gonna leave alone. I'm not gonna touch it. Next, we got the Porsche Carrera. This one is an Extreme Speed Series. Kind of cool. I like my my Porsches. So, uh, crack that. Like I was saying in the last video the other day, um, I'm going to try to limit what I collect. And it's going to be mostly... Uh, Lamborghinis for sure, um, and Ferraris and Porsches. I've always liked Porsches ever since I can remember. Uh, even as a kid, um, I've liked them. Next, we've got the Porsche 930. This is from uh, '97, so this is an old one. We're gonna free it, let it out, let it breathe. This thing's been trapped in there for a long time. So long it's got all kinds of mold on it or something. I don't know. I might have to go to the hospital after this video. Oh, this is a cool piece. Beautiful red metallic color. Yeah. Video's not going to do it justice, of course. See, told you. I'm going to go to the hospital from that. I'm going to die now. Now I've got the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Pretty cool. I like that blue. A couple of these are newer uh, Hot Wheels. But then there's a few that are going to be the ones I found at the pawn shop a while back. 
Yeah. Hubble did a pretty good job on this one with some of the detailing. They didn't do any in the back, but some of the front detailing came out pretty good. But you can't see much of it. <laughs> and next we got the Porsche 993 GT2 in red. I like this one because of the spoiler. Remember the kids seeing cars with spoilers like that? They call it the whale tail. I always liked it. Never had a car with one though. Another Hot Wheels doing pretty good on the front of the car. What we got next? This is the last Porsche in the Cracking Edition. It's a 959. My favorite Porsche model. This is one of the ones that I fell in love with as a kid. Um, yeah, I had some of these. When I was a kid, I had a really the only remote control car I had was a Porsche 959. We didn't have money growing up, so we didn't, you know, things like that we didn't get. But I did somehow. I don't remember how it even happened. I ended up being able to go to Radio Shack and picking one out, and that's what I got. It was a Porsche 959 uh, remote control car. I loved it. But yeah, one of my favorite, my favorite model of, um, of Porsche. Um, another favorite car here, the DeLorean DMC. Man, I was a kid back in the future came out. When I saw that car, boy, I liked it. I actually, uh, in my early 20s, I tried to get one. I had just bought a brand new car. It was back when I was working and making money. But this is a throwback to a older casting of Hot Wheels, the design and everything that looks like a DeLorean. I'm sure it was based on it before they got the rights. But anyways, I tried to trade in my little convertible for one in Enid, Oklahoma, <laughs> of all places. It was in a car lot. And I mean, money-wise, they didn't want much. I mean, it was cheaper than what I paid for that brand new car, so... If I had seen that thing before, I'd be driving a DeLorean. But I tried. I went in there and did everything I could, but because I still owed so much and just couldn't get out from under that payment and stuff. But anyways, oh, I cracked up when I was showing. Love these cars, the Bentleys. I think I have one of these I'm going to be able to customize someday. Yeah, I got sidetracked on that story, boy. I was close but I was grinning when I saw it thinking oh surely he'll do it no. I don't blame him man. I like my little convertible but stay up there next are the Ferraris I have to get opened this is the 355 Ferrari it's a pretty cool paint job on it it's from the Rock and Rod series from uh 96, wow. Another old one getting freed today. <laughs> this is a heavy metal band, I guess. This is cool, though. I like it. Crazy wild paint job on it. Next is a newer one. It's the 599 GTB. How you say that? Fiorano? I don't know. Pretty cool. I like the yellow. I think sports cars can pull it off. <laughs> Not a big fan of yellow, but Ferrari can do it. This is pretty cool with some of the tampos. Not bad. This is from 2006. This is a 599 GTB in yellow. Pretty cool looking car. Nice detail on the front. 
I should focus on the back a little bit. Here's a classic. This is from 2001. The Ferrari 156. That's pretty awesome. That's that's cool. This is a Ferrari you're not going to run into on the streets anywhere. Maybe it's some kind of Ferrari car show or museum, but that is cool. I like it. Yep. Next, we got an older Testarossa. It's from 97 in silver. Pretty awesome. It's got like five dots on there. Some of the original Ferrari wheels on the real cars kind of look like the five dots a little bit. Similar. And Lamborghini too, they have some. Here's one. Where are you going? Ferrari F50. Yeah, pretty cool. This one's in purple. Oh, dusty. Some of these may have been ones, I can't remember where I get all these sometimes. Because of my memory. And they've been like in boxes for a while. But I think I got some in that trade I did with my little brother. Because so I know I took all his Ferraris and Jaguars and stuff like that. He likes muscle cars and stuff. Another Ferrari F50 in red with a target top. Going topless, look at that. It's from 96 First Editions. I'm going to figure out something for my little turntable here. A bit of improvising when I decide to make a video. It'll take some time to do it. This is a nice casting though. They're red. Man, it could use better wheels, but what are you gonna do? It's hot wheels, right? I'm a fan of the lace wheels for my low riders. Might have to do a wheel swap on that one and steal those for my low ride cars. Might be what I do. So I don't have a lot of lace wheels. I need some lace wheels. Anybody out there have a whole bunch of these things just laying around doing wheel swaps? Hit me up. We'll do a trade or something. I'll trade custom or something for a lot of those. <laughs> I really could use those wheels for... If I'm working on learning more about Adobe Illustrator to design my own graphics. I mean, a lot of the ones I use on decals and stuff are ones I found on Google and then put in Photoshop and cropped and color changes sometimes and but I want to do my own, so I'm working on that. I've had that program from when I was in college, so it's still good. So I'm wanting to do more low riders, like the ones that you've seen where they're lifted up, like they're hoppers and stuff. Crazy graphics that I found from Decals I don't know if I want some of my own, so. Anyways, that's uh, the latest cracking edition. That was the Exotics edition there. Well, um, now I got to bag these up and sort them out and store them. So, anyways, this is Smooth Criminal signing out. Be good or be good at it.